Android, the Mangmi Air X. This tiny $85 handheld has already taken us on quite a journey. In the first video, we pushed PS2 and some PSP. In the second, we even tried PS Vita emulation because why not? But today we are doing something even more ridiculous. Something this handheld probably never expected in its entire little existence. We are going to see if it can run Steam games. Yes, Steam games on an $85 handheld that was clearly never designed for this kind of chaos. Now, I'm not promising miracles. This is all about curiosity, experimentation and maybe stressing this device just a little bit. Because honestly, that's half the fun. Pushing budget handhelds way past their comfort zone to see what happens. So in this video, we are installing GameUp, testing some lightweight Steam titles and finding out whether the Mangmi Air X can surprise us again. Or if is this going to be a spectacular failure. And hey, if you enjoy handheld experiments like this, click like and subscribe. It helps the channel and tells me you want even more madness. Alright, let's load up GameUp and see what happens. So we are going to use GameUp and not GameUp Lite in this particular case because GameUp Lite is not working on the Mangmi Air X as of now. At least I get only crashes uh, when trying to start the games even though the settings are identical. Um, I provided the link down below. It's pretty straightforward to download it from the website uh, directly from the handheld and then install the APK. I leave it up to you uh, whether you trust GameHub or not. I find the new version to be less intrusive, um, does not ask for any additional permissions, etc., unless you want to. So um, for me, it's fine like that. So there are some prep work and settings we need to be taken care of before we get to try the games. On the Mangmi Air, if you swipe down, make sure that we have the performance mode on. That's really necessary for this kind of emulation here. And then in game up itself for each and every game, three dots, then PC game settings. I will show you what you need to do under general. The resolution is 720p. On compatibility, make sure that you select Proton 9.0 x 64.3. And then translation params for every games I used extreme. We are going to need that additional performance. Turnip V25 R1. These ones you can please screenshot. And the CPU translator, that's again very important. Box 64037B1. Otherwise, I didn't change a lot. Um, Steam input, that's the one you need to try to put on if you are having issues with controlling the games. Otherwise, um, I will make sure to have these settings also in the description down below. Now, what I want to make sure that everyone understands is that it took me a, quite a few hours to test a lot of games and run a lot of games with different settings here. Um, the fact that you are seeing five games means that a lot of the other games did run, but with subpar performance and not great and, and not playable. Even the games that you are seeing here, uh, not all of them run great, but um, you will see some of them are really decent and, and playable, like Sonic Mania, uh, Bellatro, etc. So I think it's it's just great to to test this device, to put it to the limit. And I think, you know, with improvements to, to emulation and, and hopefully with our community work, etc., I'm really looking forward how can we push this even more. So please, if you do have better settings, things that you, you have changed in your setup, etc., let me know. Use the comment function down below. Um, Again, this video does in no way mean, or I'm not saying that uh, Steam games run great here. Um, so let me be very clear, this is a fun experiment, but I think an experiment that for some games actually does make sense and just gives you another possibility 
to load some some games on here than otherwise you wouldn't have with you when you are traveling only with one device so yeah let's have fun happy to hear your feedback